that femboy riz my man depend no it doesn't matter what game he goes into girls will just fold but she is different she hasn't really folded yet because she's a strong independent girl that don't need no man that bob three preliminaries match the finals bro she, she how how did he do it basically she eye was through the vision scope and kirito could basically like read the direction of the bullets based on her eye placement. I don't know if that makes sense. It's not supposed to make sense. It's, it kind of makes sense that Kido pretty much wins, right? And now we're going to the grand finals. Shinon, uh, she seems pretty still mad. I actually love her as a character. I think she's the best girl character that we've had in the sale so far. She's so, she is, Asuna is also strong, but just because Asuna folded for Kirito so easily, I'm like, eh. And Shino's just kind of like the new girl, right? She's like fresh, she's all cool and independent. She's got her own traumas that she's trying to overcome, but she's cool like that. Hopefully, she stays cool. And who is Zaza? Are we gonna find out today's episode? Probably not. Let's find out today's episode, though. Oh. Cucked. Mm. Bullet of bullets. Did Sugu figure out what Kirito is? I think they did. Kirito. I mean, his name is literally Kirito, right? It's not hard to figure it out. It's the identical name, bro. Kitty what? Cap! Sugu knows. I mean, in the opening or something, I forget, somewhere. Doesn't like Sugu, uh, sorry, Lifa, Asuna, and Lisbeth, they, they, don't they all like watch the Bob, you know, grand finals or as a tournament, you know, in like, uh, what's his name? In a bar in the game. Crimson memories of who? Whose memories? Zaza. Some random hooded figure we fought here? That's right, Sugu. I'm a killer. Wait, when you convert a character, the friendless just goes away. I guess the character kind of disappears, huh? Sugu probably saw that and was like, Oni-chan unfriended me! You could feel it? Yo, what? Kirito's gone. He left you in season two. What do you mean? You still don't even have your fucking answer, by the way. That was, we, 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 we cheated that. That finale. <laughs> Sick was like, so Onichan, my answer. <laughs> He's like, look at the moon. Einkrad. Yeah. Zasido. Bye bye. <laughs> Barge into my room? Stalking as usual. Mm. That's not FaceTime? Look at all that thing. So the actually one thing, one thing. Um... This is not supposed to be a random accessory you wear. This is basically something you wear to keep the baby hairs out of the thing. People who have proper skincare routines, it's important that the hair doesn't fall down. So you, you want to basically wear this thing so that, so that the, the, the hair doesn't, you know, get there. You understand? That's what this is supposed to be. But she puts it over because the anime studio wanted to make her look aesthetic right. So that's why. <laughs> Oh, you want to hear my voice? Trying to figure out who Dust Gun is. Convert Yui too! Can she come with? Cap, are we actually coming back to ALO? Mm. She doesn't even know we're cheating on her, what's she known? I guess this is a pretty smart way to kind of prevent Asuna from getting included in the story, right? Because like every season I feel like we're focusing on a different girl. And the reason for here is like, well shit, you know, death gun, laughing coffin, don't want to get her involved. I mean, I kind of want to see Asuna shooting guns too though. I feel like she would just camp a corner with a shotgun or an LMG. Oh. What is that? Wait, 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 wait. No, no. The Suku shows up from behind, touches him, says Oni chan. Then you see a drip of single water bead falling into the fucking bucket. What is that supposed to imply? 
あ、ワイスイガナビスタックインジジオフォーライクザネクスト17エピソードブロウォーディータウェナイビナタードウェイエイドナッハワイスイガナビスタックインジジオフォーライクザネクスト17エピソードブロウォーディータウェナイビナタ
Oh, Kirito so cool in his motorcycle. Nightmares about that one night. The raid against Laughing Coffin. They're all fucking hooded though. <laughs> Death Gun just wants the genuine thing. Kuradio! Hospital? Link start. Ow. I'm a killer nurse. You wouldn't understand my problems. Yeah, yeah, she is. <laughs> this frame is funny. Something about this frame is fucking hilarious to me, bro. What's going on? Okay. She was in surgery? The burden of people dying on you. The nurse is a cold blooded killer, too. You just kind of live with it, right? But if it's meant to be, you'll just forget. His memories of Laughing Coffin Night just get stronger the more he tries to forget it. Was it only three? Kuradio one, Laughing Coffin member, the, the white hair guy one, Kaiba three? Is that three? Kaiba count? Heathcliff. Heathcliff count? Game, so Heathcliff, Kuradio, and the white hair guy we saw last episode. Only three? I thought he might have done more. He killed Sachi. He, he, wait, you forget Masachi? Nah, no, this blood is on your hand, Kitty. Don't you dare forget about Sachi, bro. <laughs> no, he didn't kill. He didn't actually kill Sachi. Her pain killed herself. The nurse looks so shocked there. <laughs> He's like, "You're a monster!" Until now. The death gun showed up. Ruthless. Insecure, vulnerable murderer is. What else can you do for me? Hmm. Did she not believe? No, no, it's more about like the act of killing in the game, right? No, no, no. the sword? Now it's just like a ways to convince your brain. Okay. Wow, she's actually saying the most profound shit I've ever heard. She's actually Did he actually forget? No, 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 he remembers Kuradio and Heathcliff, but the third person that we saw last episode, the white-haired guy, we never just fucking knew his name, right? We never knew him! Did we actually know him? He's just a random laughing cough member, right? He knows of Kuradio. He knows of Heathcliff. He killed four? We're getting some conflicting numbers. I thought Kaiba counts as one. You guys kept saying it. Three people and Kaiba. Then shit, I forget too. <laughs> shit. That, that, I, that I fucking forgot them too, bro. Two at the raid. Okay, okay. So it's Kuradio plus two at the rate of the hooded figures, one white hairy guy, and one random dude, and Heathcliff. The two. Uh, fuck him! Kirito is actually too good. He's actually such a good, innocent, pure hearted person that would feel. Yeah, maybe Sachi's included in the four. But to feel this kind of guilt over killing members of the Laughing Coffin who are PK guilt that goes out doing some evil shit, intensely trying to kill other people. I think you're completely justified in killing these random Laughing Coffin num members and not even having to remember their names. Like, I think that's totally justified, but I'm a fucking monster. Plus, I was never actually there. I wonder how I would think if I actually did something like that, huh? What would I do if I was in the station? I wouldn't forget two. I would forget ten people, bro. But I killed more fucking people there in the Laughing Coffin, bro. Death Gun wouldn't even fucking exist. I would have killed Zaza and I wouldn't even have known it, but... Easier for me to say, you know, talk shit like this. She's getting closer and closer. Oh my god. How many girls have Kirito actually cried to? There's that balloon. You see that balloon? You see that balloon? 
That's the balloon that Shino, you know, the balloon that Shino had? No, looking at the kid when she said, I'm not a normal girl anymore. Oh, oh there it is. There it is. There it is. What the fuck is that callback, bro? Um, the nurse crying. Sorry, nurse making Kirito cry. How many other girls have Kirito cried to? Asuna? Yeah, probably. S Lifa? Suku? No, have we? No, have we? Has he cried to every girl? Isn't this like a special thing? Just Asuna and the nurse, right? Sugu, I would have to remember some scenes. Maybe that counts. Silica? <laughs> Lizbeth? <laughs> Yui? <laughs> Yui's AI doesn't count. Bro just fucking cries at every girl and they fold. That's right. Don't focus on the people that you killed, Kirito. You saved a lot of people too. Yeah, we should just talk to Asuna about this. Why are we talking to the nurse about this shit? <laughs> Don't let Asuna ever see this, bro. Alright. Alright, gave her a specific time. Hero. That's some Link start. The hero Kirito, are you him? We start. I'm not sure if you can. He's too good. All right, Bob three, main tournament. <laughs> so I guess Klein has to babysit the fucking cut quattro now, huh? Or actually, no. This is Klein's new harem, bro. Let's go. Ball Steve got a harem now. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. <laughs> you were cheering up, but Liz is like, Elris, Elris, who is this OG son? <laughs> she don't give a fuck. She's too busy thinking about Kirito. She's some kind of spell user, alright. She heals support. All right, let's go. Quack, cut, Katro and Klein. This is pretty fun, huh? Yeah, it's just the game. Nobody dies here. It's fine. They're gonna watch it in the bar. Food and drinks in game. In game currency to buy in game food and drinks to watch the show in game. True. Papa will probably win. Unless Shinon has some plot reasons to win. Have they seen his new fanboy model? Oh, they're gonna be shocked? <laughs> Wait, how's that gonna work? Bob 3! Name tournament! Oh shit, it's Shinon! One of the top 8! Oh, there's more than top 8. Jack Reacher, Sterbin, XYZ. Where is Zaza? If you, could you imagine if you just saw Zaza here, dude? Oh, I would go fucking crazy if I saw the name of Zaza here. Pale Rider, Jigen, Kirito and Shinon at the bottom. I don't know how to read. Keith? Who's Keith? Do I know a name named Keith? I don't think I do. Spiegel. That's a promise? Okay. I still don't trust him though. I still don't. Hey, you're breaking the immersion, bro. You can't call me by my real name. He's not gonna let it go like Sugu, bro. Lifa, we could have just like glossed over and said, Shh, girl, don't worry about the answer. Look at Aincrad. He's not gonna let up. He needs that fucking answer. Oh god, how's that gonna work out? Yeah, I know you're down bad for it. I know, bro. Holy shit, confess before- Oh, get the fuck off me! He's just... The biggest fucking white knight for Shinon, bro? He's fucking... Tier 3 fucking Discord simp! Like, 100%! Like, he's way too deep in! It's like... I need her. He's so close to the real thing. He just can't get it though. I 
I feel like there's a difference between a nice guy and him. Because a nice guy, I think, is Recon. And I don't think Recon was ever creepy. I think Recon knew the boundaries and sometimes he made his plays, but when he said, you know, got told off, he understood and walked away. But he still proved his worth, you know, by doing some heroic shit. This guy, there's a little bit more sinister things around him. He knows what he's doing. He's definitely has this image of a super nice person that's supportive in there. And that's the thing that's kind of scary. You know what I mean? Recon and him, there's a little bit of a difference in what they're doing. Recon was doing it out of genuine authenticity. This guy, it's a bit calculative. Shinon butt crack. I love how they always make sure to show us Shinon butt crack, dude. That's the point of these booty shorts. It's too fucking small. Can't contain her fucking butt crack. It's him, the black swordsman. Sorry, the purple swordsman, should I say. Cameraman, what are you doing? Are we getting a cliffhanger? End. End episode. And that's the episode. Today's episode was a little bit of an intermission, kind of set up before we get right into the actual main tournament of Bob 3. I love calling this you know, tournament Bob instead of best bullet of bullets. So this entire episode was basically Kirito's uh, trauma from Laughing Coffin, the guilt that he has been from not being able to remember the people that he killed. Honestly, fuck him. Fuck Laughing Coffin. They don't deserve to be remembered. But Kirito's like a sweet boy, you know? He's like, what, 14? No, he's like 16 right now. How would like a kid that young kill that early on, you know, that kind of trauma carries over? I think it makes sense. And then the other side, we have Asada or Shino. And her trauma was kind of gone for a second. She pointed the gun because of what Kirito's sexual harassment Riz has done, right? She actually was like, oh shit, I kind of forgot about it until this motherfucker reminded her that, hey, you're supposed to be scared of that. I wonder if he's using this to kind of like control her in a way, to be kind of be like, oh, I'll be there for you to help you come over. Over it, but something about him just doesn't feel right. Recon was a much better character than this guy. This guy has some sinister intent, and I still think that, and he definitely is related to that whole death gun thing, right? Remember the medical history background that he has, and as well as that one scene where he was on his computer and he had the voice recording files and something about death gun. I forget the exact details, but that kind of like, that kind of like links those two uh, plot points together, right? The nurse here was actually so wholesome. I thought that she was just a flirtatious fan service nurse, but like she gave some deep, profound shit. Kirito does what he does best, crying in the arms of girls, and she just folds. He's got that fucking crying wrist, man. It just works. Klein, on the other hand, <laughs> good to see balls deep back. He's just, he's just chilling. Bro, bro is just chilling. What happened to the rest of his friends, though? Remember them? What happened to Balls Deep's rest of his friends? I don't see them around anymore. It's just Balls Deep. He just... I, maybe his friend was like, you know what? I don't, I don't give a fuck about this fairy-ass bullshit game. I'm done, Klein. You're gonna play this bullshit game? And Klein's like, shit. I'm trying to riz up these little girls. So he's trying to, you know, look cool to them. No, I don't think Balls Deep was ever trying to, you know, flirt with them. But it's it's kind of funny how, like, he's trying to, like, show off. And all the girls are like, ew, what is this so Jisan doing, man? I wonder what Tiffany's doing. They're gonna watch the battle of the Bob 3 in... ALO, which is funny because you're watching Bob 3 in ALO. Okay, I guess there's the, the fucking monitors all fucking con you know, connected. And that's pretty much it. Next episode will be the beginning of the main battle royale of Bob 3. I think the Shinon and Kirito will definitely have to team up for a bit. Maybe they'll have an agreement to be like, you know what? Until everyone else is done, we'll kind of team up. Then at the very end, you and me, 1v1 to settle the deal. And that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.